Hi guys, so I thought I'd do this video because I have like five whole minutes and uh, yeah. So um, if you didn't catch my part one, I'll link it up there and at the end. Um, so my part one was me unboxing this. So this is Starlink for the Nintendo Switch. This is the one where you can get Star Fox. So I unboxed this and obviously I showed you a handful of uh, the accessories that I had actually bought at the time and was like I'll unbox them in part two which is this video in the meantime I kind of went out and bought every other accessory so this is part two but it's also a complete unboxing of everything so um yes it's a complete unboxing of every accessory you can currently get today on Star Fox, or Star Fox, Starlink Battle for Alat Atlas. Get my words out. So I'm gonna do this quite simply. I'm gonna unbox all of the weapons, then I'll unbox all the characters, then I will unbox all the ships, and I will show you every single one so you can have a look. Um, I'm also currently at the moment in game, and I believe Argos as well. This actual game itself has gone down again. I bought this when it was half price, but this has actually gone down again to $19.99 in game. So if you've not got someone a Christmas present yet and they've got a Switch, this is awesome. Um, it is a very good game. Um, you don't have to buy these accessories. You can just do everything with the bog standard game. Um, but all the accessories are reduced as well. So you could at least maybe get them another character for $3.99. So, um, um, as I said, that is why stocks last. Game are dwindling on stocks. The only other additional information that I found out after getting the game is that with this, you get this. Um, so, to play the game, you actually need this base itself. It has got the information in so you can attach any ship onto it, any character onto it, any weapon system onto it so that it can be read into the game. This is the same for the Xbox One version and the PlayStation 4 version. They do look a little bit different, but that is the same. If you wish to play two player with this game, you will need to buy another base. Currently, game do not have any additional bases for sale for the Nintendo Switch. They do currently have them for sale for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. These are 19 pounds and like 29 pence, so you might as well buy the game again. If you've bought it on the other platforms, just buy a Switch version, or I was gonna say buy a Switch version so you can get Star Fox, but you're gonna need to buy the same platform as what you've got. So I've actually got two of these. I gave one to my partner to play, but I've actually got two of these so I could get an additional controller because it was more cost effective to do so. That's a heads up. I wasn't aware of that. Um, a lot of people in game, when you ask them, even the people that work there are like, no, they just tap on. They do not. They actually slot in using like game microchip cards. So that is something to know too. So let's do the characters first. So these are the characters. So this one is Pilot Pack, Levi McRae. Um, some of the figures look better than others. I will admit he looks a bit um, weird, but we will undo this. I will say be careful when I'm doing things like this. The packaging is very sharp. Um, I'm gonna undo these. I will say it is going to probably, I will say probably ruin the boxes. I'm not gonna keep the boxes because I don't see the point. Um, to me, they've been there for ages and oh my God, it's been a pain in the butt with storing them. So, I don't want that. You get this little bit of paper, which is literally like, don't lose me, look after me. Let's have a look at this character. They're all well, really well stuck in, I will admit, and someone that's actually got fingernails. So, <laughs> okay, off the bat, he looks fine. I will say, personally, I can see that his figure has been made, his head has been made separate, and then his head has been placed into said figure. You can just see, like, 
the marks if it wants to load like here where it's kind of it's kind of done but he is very well made and this is what I mean by like the little microchip kind of thing um he's well made he's got a little monkey on his t-shirt which is kind of cute they all have this little glass back so they can fit into the spaceships so we have him I'm gonna put him to one side so the next one we've got is a pilot pack and it's Razor LeMay, I'm going to call her, but yeah. So she looks pretty good. I do just think this game, unfortunately, is very good apparently. And I've played a little bit of it and it's, it is good. Um, I do think it just hit the toys to life phrase after just after it was um, not as popular, unfortunately. So it should have come out in like the infinity area and stuff like that. So the other thing I did just notice trying to pull this character out is that they are very bendy. She bends a lot. So you need to be careful. And the second thing with this character, personally, I can see that she has been made as a full character and then her leg has been made separate and then they have plopped her in like that as you don't know if you can see she has a nice big indent just there in her leg so um otherwise she's kind of cool she has like a tattoo which is kind of remnants of um i can't think what it's called um sam something or other but yeah she's pretty cool she does kind of look like It does kind of look like they have literally the same face plate, but she's paint painted a different colour or a different as a girl kind of thing. I'm just going to bear with me two secs. So I'm gonna pause this and be back in two secs. Hey guys, sorry. So I'm um, just gonna check the camera quick. There we go. So I started filming this like about three maybe four hours ago um and then my baby camera broke so i had to quickly nip to argos to get it switched over so it's been fast time and a lot of other times so now i can finish doing this video so we're going to get straight on to unboxing some more of these so this one is a pilot pack and it's ellie arborwood so yeah so again all these were reduced which is awesome um personally I kind of decided I was going to get them as like now because most children get money for Christmas like I used to um and then what happens is as they get money for Christmas they then go out and buy all these little toys because they're for sale and stuff and they go with their game and yeah because of that I was a bit worried that I wasn't that I'd be like oh, I just need two things and then wouldn't get it basically I was just like, might as well just grab them all whilst I can. So, straight. So first of all, what I will say is this one isn't very paint, isn't very, isn't painted very well. So the top of the hat just looks like it's been splodged instead of like actually painted nicely. Um, like the there's scratch marks there on their chest that's meant to be there. They look all right, but they could actually maybe have a little bit more colour to them and then the face if you can see the face it's a bit like the Zelda face of one of the Zelda amiibos from Breath of the Wild it's it's just horrific and it, it's not very good so um if you're looking for certain characters I would say personally visual alone not gameplay I'd give this character a miss but I can go up there for now so the last separate character so the rest of the characters come within the actual um ships themselves is this one so this is a pilot pack and this is so i think it's carl zeno so i actually really like him he kind of reminds me of a professor from um x-men so um i know he's not blue he's green but you will see what i mean but so i quite liked him as a character he looks very well painted so i'm a bit like if i'm gonna spend my money on these things i kind of want them to look good as well as to have functionality in the game. He came out the easiest of the packet, I'll give him that, but it might just be that I'm getting used to the packets now. 
yeah so I will say he's painted very well so he's supposed to be like a dinosaur kind of creature with the looks of it he kind of looks like a triceratops um so he's actually got some really nice painting markings there he's got like a little monocle on which is kind of cute I like that he has like a tail which is at the back here and that is painted and done very nicely he seems one of the sturdiest characters so far so I would definitely say he's my favorite character so far we'll put him there so we've done four of those so the next thing we're going to do is four of these so these are your weapon packs so you've got your crusher and your shredder mark two in this pack so we'll undo these i said i'm just very like i kind of just want it to be a little bit on visuals as well as all the other kind of stuff like I expect it to be good because I paid for it not that it's, they're always like that but I'm throwing that away that didn't help let me grab that quick because I realized I threw this away but I'm not going to know which one's which I will say if you're getting this for your child for Christmas then oh my gosh you're going to have to help me get this out of the packet because they're all, oh, there we go, very, very in there. Hey, okay. there seems to be a nap to it. So this one is your Crusher. So it is painted very nicely. It has, has the same kind of chipboard underneath to attach to the any ship that you want. Um, so this purple thing here is actually kind of see-through, so I'd be quite interested if that lit up. Um... But yeah, all in all, this is painted. Painted very nicely. And the spit as well at the back. I'm wondering if that lights up. This one is your Shredder Mark II. So it just looks like a Gatling gun, to be quite honest. Um, he is painted very nicely, though. As you can quite clearly see. So that is very nice. So the next one we've got is your Hailstorm and... Meteor, Meteor Mark 2. Meteor looks like it's kind of like fire related. Hey, once you get into these, it's not too bad. But it, oh, there we go. It's just getting into them. Hey, feels like you can push at the back. Oh, and that one's just a point, so it's actually quite difficult. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Right, it's cool there. Yes, children are going to need help getting these out. I feel like I need help getting them out. So, you have your hailstorm, which is this one, which looks like it's ice based, which it's nicely painted. It is kind of cute. Uh, it's obviously got your little, you've got all symbols on there to know what they do. It's like a gun again, but it must do, do something like a freeze ray or something like that. So that's really nice and cute. Then you have this one here, which is the Meteor Mark II. So this one it must be something to do with fire because it has a nice little fire symbol there. Again, it's quite well painted. It reminds me of something along the lines from um, Robot Wars, but it's very cute. Next pack is Shockwave and Gas Gun Mark II. So again, it's like a Gatling gun. Some of these do look a bit delicate. So Hey, that one came out quite easily. That was quite nice. Um, so you have this one, which is Shockwave. So this is Shockwave. Again, it's done very nicely. This bit is rubber, so that's what I was worried about because that's, that's what I was saying. It looks delicate. Because it's rubber, kids can bend it, and that's great, so it won't break. So it is painted very nice. It looks kind of awesome. Obviously, it's just called Shockwave, so I'm assuming it's maybe going to be electric-based. Electric but it's quite nice. It looks like you can actually 
unscrewed them as well. There's just normal Phillips screws there, so. Uh, this one is called Gas Gun Mark II. It has the same symbol as the last on it, so I would assume that perhaps it is um, electric based. It looks pretty good though. Uh, it's nicely painted again, so the weapons so far are very nicely painted, so I'm very, very impressed. Sorry, I'm very, very impressed in that aspect. The last one we've got is this one, so it's Iron Fist and Freeze Ray Mark II. So, So this one is Iron Fist, it has the same markings as the last two, so I would assume maybe it's electric based. It is painted quite nicely, I feel like, so this side here looks a bit sloppy, but out of all of them it's just this one, so it actually doesn't really bother me, it's quite nice. This is rubber again, so if the kids chew it, break it, drop it, and these are two, it's not too bad, that's quite nice. And then we have the last one, which is Freeze Ray Mark II, which is this little gun and again it's you can see this one see-through here which is quite nice I'm wondering if they kind of light up that would be a neat little extra it's got the little freeze ray symbol kind of cute so that is all the weapons so gosh next we need to do this so in every one of these boxes you get one additional weapon one additional character and your ship so all the ships can normally be remodelled, so you can jig them about like an accessory and make a statue out of them. So let's start with this one. So this is Nadri and it comes with the nullifier and shade. So the character's name is Shade and the weapon is a nullifier. So I don't know what they mean by nullifier, am I? But one of those things. I really liked this one. So we need to get the ship up. Actually, yeah, I'll get the ship up first. Oh my gosh. Get anything out first. Right, so there's him. Ouch. There's that. So this is the ship. So I really like this ship because it reminded me reminded me of Mad Max. So what I mean by this is it's got like an awesome skull on the top here. Um, like the other one you can model, but it doesn't look like these other ones you can model at all. So unfortunately, these ships and these ones you can't model, but the Star Fox one, Star Star Wing, you can. But that's just something to note. So first of all. These bits are rubber, so that's good in case you drop it. Again, these bits are rubber. This is rubber. It's got a nice like pilot thing. You can see like my hand through here. So what you do is you put the character in there so you can get them to do what you want. So all in all, this is painted very nicely. It's got the Mad Mass S kind of look with all the battered kind of space debris look, which is very, very nice. I'm kind of liking this one. Um, it's definitely one of my favourites. It's very pretty in my eyes, anyway. Um, then you've got the nullifier, which is this little weapon here. Again, these are all kind of like rubbery, these purple bits. I like this weapon because I think it looks cool. I don't know why, that's just my thinking, but it's awesome. Then you have this guy. So he's called Shade, I think I said. Yes, um, he looks pretty awesome. Again, his face isn't painted very well. They're very small and delicate kind of looking faces, if you know what I mean. So it would have taken a hell of a lot to do. He's got two knives in his hand um, to fight with. He's got a long cloak with a marking on the back, but which is here, and he's got two little knives. The face, I said, is appalling. If I can get this to work but yeah so but he's kind of cool and he kind of brings it back for me because I like his ship so the next one is this one 
So this one is Starship Pack Neptune and it comes with the Levitator and character name is Judge. So He will come out pretty oh, okay that's really weird so for some reason on this one unlike that one they've actually put him in with a bit of string so i've got to cut the string and <laughs> get him out which is kind of weird but okay look, i would understand if they did it to all of them but they haven't they've just done it to him okay so that one was yeah. oh they've done it to they done it to all of his stuff Okay. So I will say these are bigger than I expected. So we expected the ships to be much smaller. They are much bigger and they have more detail on than what I expected. But this is the ship. I like these. They're plasticky again, but because you can kind of see through them, they, they kind of appeal to me. I like the cockpit of this ship because it's like this little ball, so it looks more sci-fi to me it reminds me of like Star Trek S kind of stuff and um all the others. Um this here, I don't know if you can see, has kind of a honeycomb esque look to it, which is actually really cool and really nice. Um it is painted very 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 well. This bit I'm hoping glows. Um but yeah this one's actually really nice as well so this is super cute. So this guy is Judge, so he is very well painted, I will say, out of most of the ones that I've just seen, he's very well painted. He is some kind of space creature and he's got all these markings on him, nicely painted. Um, this is glittery, if you can't really see, it's got a shimmer to it, so that's pretty nice. Um, and all his like accessories, like these bits here, have actually been painted quite nicely. So the person who did that has got a nice fine art paintbrush that's awesome so i'm going to put that one there and then this one is called your levitator so it hits yellow which is a bit weird yellow to me is normally electric but again this one has been nicely painted i will definitely say that um compared to some of the ones that we've actually just seen they've put deep they've put nice detail into it and they've taken their time so we've got this one and we've got one more afterwards so this is ship pack lance and this is the imploder and hunter is the character's name so out of all of them hunter looks like his face is painted incredibly well compared to i said that some of them just look like creepy as but um this person actually looks like they've painted it very very well on this one only character that literally had those silly things on it. Two. Right, so this is the ship. So my other half actually picked this one because he really liked it. And then I said I ended up buying the whole lot, so it doesn't really matter. But it does look really nice. I like the details in this ship already. So as you can see, it's obviously black, red and gold with silver here this bit is completely hollow which is a really nice touch i quite like the um cockpit again because this bit is actually yellow instead of bog standard clear um again this reminds me of like maybe star wars um stuff like that just because of the style of the ship of it um these bits are plasticky so they again will last and it's very very well made and very nicely painted i'm quite impressed with this one it does look quite nice so next you have your imploder which is 
this one again i like that you see through i'm i'm typical like 90s early 2000s kid and anything that's see-through is like sold to me um i like that it's see-through it has been well painted so that's quite nice as you can see and then we have hunter so this is hunter and as i said his face is actually very nicely painted um my other half said he looks a bit like a samurai um his beads on his arms are a bit mishmash with the colors unfortunately but other than that his like kimono if it's like a kimono style is nicely painted his legs are nicely painted and his boots are as well you can see that he's got like a little top bun so you can see this is hunter but yeah he's very nicely painted so i would just say he's one of the better ones so far And the last one we've got is this one. So this is Starship Pack Pulse. So this has got Volcano and Chase. So this is like the Afro haired lady, which is fair. She seems to be one of the main antagonist kind of characters. So that's fair enough. the last of our packs because we have been doing this for a while so I'll put that there for a minute Let's get this out oh this one's gonna be awkward I'm oh, actually gonna be She gave you finger holes with that one so that's quite nice so this is this one so off the bat this isn't too bad it reminds me it really reminds me of manchester united that's literally what came to mind I was listening um yeah it reminds me of Manchester United football team and that is literally because of the colour scheme and like it's got logos on here like fuel and danger and that's what it reminds me of like the colour scheme that's genuinely what comes to mind um these are rubber and so are these so that's quite nice but it is well painted it's not my favourite ship personally I'm not into football but that's what it reminds me of it might remind you of something different Then you have Volcano, which is this. It's nicely painted. Kind of looks like a Gatling gun again, but it looks kind of cool. And then you have it's Chase. I quite like the way she's painted. I like the fact that she's on like this ice thing, which is quite nice. But other than that, yeah. Her face is nicely painted compared to some of the others, but yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera around and run it across the bed where I've laid them all out so you can see everything that you can purchase for Starlink. So two seconds. So this is every extra weapon that you can get for Starlink. This is the ships that you can get. So this ship comes with this. This ship comes with this, oh sorry, not laying her down, these characters. This is this ship. This is this ship. This is your starter pack for Nintendo, so you get these weapons with the Star Wing and these characters. You do need this accessory to actually um, use, play the game. And I'm just rejigging these quickly. But these, stay up, please. These are then your additional characters that you can buy. As you can see, some of them have weird faces. And like his is one of the worst. It looks really weird. But his is quite nice. And he's okay. He's like an elf boy by the looks of it. You can see what I mean about the neck now too. But yeah, 
These are very nicely painted. His face was really nice, I'll give him that. But yeah, so this is every single thing you can get for Starlink, so two sex. So that is everything you can get for Starlink. That is the official starter pack as well as every additional accessory for it as current to date. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so let me know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And I will see you guys next time. So thank you very much for watching. And 